this video I'm going to show you how to install the Plaz 480 2x2 LED screen and how to assemble the whole system and get it up and running. And so the first part that we need to do is now that we've laid the frame down we're going to add the right hand leg to the side of the frame. And we're going to locate which of the mounting height holes we want so we could have it up here or we could have it further down here and so in this particular case we're going to line up the two holes we're going to come in there and we'll go through this one now, you will notice that there are other bolt screw in holes on the frame and they're for different heights and different uh, attachments that can be applied so we're just coming straight in here And so now we're going to add the other leg on the other side and the thing to remember is to actually add the back spacing bar to keep the frame rigid. So uh, just watch out that we'll add that and that goes to the back support brace legs. make sure that we line it up to the same so it's important to make sure that these side legs at this stage are slightly loose and uh, not too tightened up so we put one end in here and the other end in this end here just get that uh, nut started or the bolt started I should say Find that and still quite a bit by hand. Lock it into place. Let's do the other end. First, let's put a bolt in there. And so this frame has been designed to be used outdoors. It's got wheels on it, can have stands, can have larger wheels as well fitted to it. It's all based on just simply replacing. The, uh, the wheel, which is quite a straightforward procedure. And now, just a matter of tightening up the side. And so there we have it. The frame's all assembled. The controller bar is already mounted on the frame. It's just a couple of 8mm bolts that hold that bracket. And now the frame is ready to be lifted up into position. wheels are already locked so it's not going to move. We can move these out of the way now. So here we have our frame already waiting for the LED panels and here are the LED panels here just sitting off the ground on some pieces of timber. So we're now going to take these panels and place them one by one into the frame. So here we have the assembled Players 480 2x2 modular portable LED screen. It's a very similar format and construction that we use for the other sizes in the series, being 5x1 and 4x1 and 1x3 and so forth. The screen panels can actually be used in whatever size screen you actually want, whether it be 10x12 um, feet or 20 meters by 30 meters it doesn't really matter but in this particular series we've made it as a mobile system where you could have a number of these running together uh, displaying content time information sponsors information and uh, a versatile system designed for one person to be able to manage handle set up disassemble and transport to site this particular series of LED screens and the modular size that we've been uh, talking about recently is designed for environments where you might want to have a community event and you want to have some sponsors information displayed or it could be a school sports event where you want to run timing software or maybe it's a club event at the sports field where you need to run and display the scoreboard information of the competing teams so a variety of applications 
and once again designed to be easily transported. So we hope you found this video useful, interesting. Contact details are at the end of the video and on the associated text. If you have a need for LED screens indoors or outdoors of high definition or a lower pitch, give us a call. We've got a range of solutions that I'm sure will work for you. Thanks a lot for watching.